everybody, this is Praxis and I'm back at it again, trying to finish up the last bits of this uh, giant pile of dirt on top of the root cellar. I started over here this morning, this, this rock here was the last one I had in, there was a big kind of cavity in here, I uh, added these steps right here to get up to the top. I still think I want to do some kind of a, some kind of a garden up here, nothing that I'm going to be watering because the last thing I want to do is add more water on top of the root cellar, but uh, I don't know, I'm thinking like sunflowers. Maybe, I don't know, I'll feel it out over time, see what, what grows uh, well up here without being watered. So anyway, I put some steps up there. Yeah, honestly, more cosmetic than anything else. Um, but uh, I had these perfect little stones for making steps, and I thought, eh, why don't I put steps there? Uh, one thing that it uh, saves me is because I have this area that doesn't have to have uh, grass put back in, it saves me some of my, my uh, dirt uh, grass block things over there. So at this point, I'm, I'm going to be pretty close to having everything I need to fill in this area. I was initially thinking about just letting this slope off, but I'd have to bring the slope so far over uh, because of these guys. If I had it sloping here, there'd be more weight on this side than on this side. It would tend to push these guys out as everything settled. So I, I figured um, it was kind of, you, you can either make a wall and have it be pretty tight, or I'd have to bring the whole thing over and have all this extra fill out to like maybe here and then start sloping it down. So it was going to be a lot more dirt and logs and everything. So I figured, I think a, a stone wall looks nicer anyway, and it's probably about the same amount of work because I can terminate it a little sooner. So, so that's what I'm doing here. Uh, I got this rock just about to go in. This is going to go in right here. This one I, I actually found right over here when I was grabbing dirt for fill. Uh, I just saw like the, just the top of it, like a little spot like that big, um, you know, barely above the ground at all. Just started digging around it and it turned out to be this relatively large thing. It's kind of a wedge shape. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the curved face out here, the flat face back here, so it has kind of a, a curved feeling like that. I just rolled this one here because it came from right over there. All the other ones I'm get, I've been getting up into the wheelbarrow, which is kind of a pain in the butt, just getting them initially into the wheelbarrow. All right. Okay. I usually just kind of wa uh, walk these things in. I'm trying not to damage the grass here a little. Yeah. Uh, again, it's the hardest thing in the world manipulating these things while you're trying not to rip a hernia, which I, I kind of already have. I had it going pretty well for a couple of months. It seemed like it was healing up, but shoveling's like the worst thing for it. But uh, I knew I had to do it, so, you know, it rips and then hopefully I can get it healed again. I guess uh, that's what you do for your family to avoid uh, uh, everyone dying of radiation poisoning. <laughs> You're willing to tear up your, your hernia that you almost had healed. All right. Okay, that's kind of getting there. Like that, how to, how to do well. I often have when I'm doing walls, I like to kind of have like a big, a big rock that's nice and stable, and then another big rock that's nice and stable. And if I've got some smaller ones, I'll kind of wedge those between it because the two big rocks on the side kind of stabilize all the little stuff in the middle. And like I was mentioning uh, a few days ago, I like to kind of cap it with something sort of big. What I'm working uh, for, for this one, because this is kind of a small rock, is I want to take one of these longer ones, and not necessarily this one. In fact, I probably probably won't be this one, but uh, have it kind of be like this, so it'll kind of grab the top face there and uh, anchor it in there. Again, it's not going to be that one uh, particular, but something kind of long. Once I fill it in with dirt over here, uh, I think I'm going to do that, and uh, that'll kind of anchor that guy in because it's not a huge rock there. So I'm not going to finish today, but I think if I keep working, I can get myself close enough so that the next day that I work on this. Uh, I think I'll be able to finish it up. I took the bracing off of that too. There's a problem with that because I was rushing the other day. I'll tell you about that uh, when I'm working on that, but there's, there's gonna be a problem with that thing because I rushed a little bit. Not big, I mean, any problem solvable, but you know, you rush and sometimes you uh, make mistakes. I thought about it later. Anyway, I'll leave the, I'll leave the suspense and I'll tell you what the problem was uh, next time I'm working on that. That's it, thanks for watching.